hello hello everyone warm welcome back to the channel Yaji here super excited to share another gardening video with you today we are going to be talking about how to process fluted pumpkin seeds to ensure that the seeds are going to germinate in case you don't already know the ugu or fluted pumpkin seeds are super difficult to germinate and let me tell you how you process the seeds might affect your rate of germination there is a best way to do it and that is what i am here to share with you so by watching this video you are going to know how to process the seeds in case you ever come across some of the seeds fresh out of the pots you would know what to do with those seeds so that the seeds will germinate or you increase the chances of germination if you're new to the channel warm welcome here i am yaje and i do grow tropical african vegetables very exciting african vegetables out here in my garden which is in zone 9a in houston texas in the usa and i share whatever lessons that i learn on this channel my mission is to get everybody to try growing some of these vegetables to get my people you know when i say my people i'm talking about african immigrants to actually grow some of these vegetables and enjoy them fresh because it is actually possible and i'm not going to stop until everyone is growing vegetables in their own backyard or if you live in an apartment you're growing the vegetables in containers so kindly subscribe to the channel give my videos a thumbs up share my videos so that we can get this message to many more people this is the fluted pumpkin pod the ugu pod that carries the seeds of the ugu plant so once you get the mature pod you are going to carefully open the pod with a sharp knife please note that the pod has a very hard cover so be careful when opening it now once you open the pod you are going to see the seeds of the ugu plant that looks like this one pod has a lot of seeds now should you plant your seeds immediately after opening the pods just like this or should you dry the seeds first and if you choose to dry the seeds why and for how long that is what i am going to be talking about in this video when you open the ugu pod notice that the seeds um, wear clothes like it, it's dressed in something and they are very moist if you plant the seeds directly just like this the moisture might cause the seeds to rot and then there will be no emergence of the shoot it will not germinate and if you dry the seeds for too long what will happen is you kill the embryo within the seeds and again there will be no germination and these are mistakes that a lot of people make so what you do is you need to remove that outer sheath you need to remove that covering just like i am showing you in this video when you do that you make the seeds naked i'm putting that in quotes and it speeds up the sprouting process the germination process it increases the chances of germination now once you remove that sheath what you can also do is scarify the seeds which just means that you bruise the seeds and you can use like sand to rub the seeds between the sand that way you bruise the seeds what it does is it enables water to percolate into the seeds and this hastens or facilitates germination the next step will be to dry the seeds now you can either just dry under the shade that is air drying in direct sunlight or you can dry in the sun if you're doing drying in the shade that is air drying you dry for about two days and that will be fine if you dry under the sun three to six hours is is good you don't want to dry it for too long now remember if the seed loses a lot of moisture you are going to kill the embryo within the seeds and they will not germinate so that is how you process your ugu seeds to ensure maximum germination and i have several videos on how to plant the ugu seeds you can just browse this channel and you will find the videos but just remember that the seeds have an orientation you know you plant the ugu seeds pointed up facing down 
and you water at least once a day until it germinates. Now, if you do this, you're going to highly, highly improve your rate of germination of the ugu seeds. Guys, if this video added some value to you, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And I will catch you on my next one. Thank you. Bye. Look, guys. This is a seed that started germinating inside the pod. So ubu seeds can germinate inside the pod. Here's an example, but I don't think this is going to survive. Like if I planted this, I'm not sure it is going to grow, but I just thought that it was interesting. So as you can see, we have two different sizes. These ones over here are bigger, broader than these ones. So these are smaller. But I was told, or I have read that it makes no difference. Sister here, Sister Vera here was asking me if the germination is going to be affected. Yes. What was your question? If they are mature. I thought these ones were not mature. It could be that they are not mature, but I think they are. I think it's just, you know, it's just a bit, yes. Because you see, if you scratch this, it's probably going to turn. So it's good quality. Seed. It is, it is. It should be okay. It should be okay. That's my word. Yeah. No, it's fine. We'll see. The size does not affect anything. Yeah, I think they are natural seeds. I think so. But if it doesn't germinate, nothing has a 100% germination rate, you know. Right? Okay, so that is good. I think it's fine. So here we have the 